So you created your avatar and now you're ready to further customize it to fit your business's needs. Here, you can head over to the conversation tab where you'll find information already put into the avatar training prompt. This was generated based on the URL that you provided in the avatar setup. For example, if you want to get real specific, you can change a custom greeting. Hello, welcome to Code Baby. I'm Dane. How may I help you today? You can say, Hey, welcome to Code Baby. I'm Dane. How may I be of assistance? You can, for example, say you don't want to include any information about pricing as you would like that to be handled directly through real humans. You could say pricing and subscription information. Please do not include any information about pricing. If anyone were to have questions, please provide them our support email, codebaby.com. Further, if you wanted to provide additional instructions, for example, the length of messages were happening to be longer than you anticipated. You can mention, keep responses concise yet informative. And by continuously refining and editing these prompts, you can truly get your avatar to fit your custom needs in a variety of settings. Furthermore, if you wanted to scroll down and wonder what this embeddings page is, it's essentially allowing you to scrape different pages of your URL, which is going to make use in how it feeds that information through the avatar to customers. What I mean by that is when we provided the codebaby.com website, it went and scraped all the different various pages that were associated to the Codebaby website. Here, let's say we didn't want them to include any information about our blog. We can simply remove this and let's say we did want to include information about pricing, we can add um, either a URL or a file, which could be an image, a brochure, which would again, just further help your avatar be trained on information that is key to your organization. Music